Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland Hartmann from graphicinmotion.com and in this tutorial I will show you how to customize my baby slideshow After Effects template. Before we get started inside After Effects, let me quickly give you an overview over the content of this project. If you open up the folder that you downloaded from VideoHive or from Envato Elements, you see that there are actually four different After Effects projects included. And as the names already say, we have two different versions of the slideshow. We have a long version, which is exactly the same as the preview video, if you saw that already. And we have a shorter version, which is approximately half of that. And both of these versions are available in two different resolutions. We have a 4K Ultra HD version, that's this one and that one. And then we have the Full HD version, 1080p version. Before you choose one of these projects to customize, I would recommend that you install the two fonts that are used to design this slideshow. And you can find the links right here in the links folder, so open this up. And you see we have three different links here. The first one will lead you to Audio Jungle and this will lead you to the music track that I used for the preview video. So if you want to use the same audio that I used in the preview video, you can do that by following this link and then you can purchase this file on Audio Jungle. The other two links lead you to the two fonts that I used and they're both free for download. You can download them right here and then install them on your system. Now let's jump right into After Effects and let's get started with the customization. First of all, I open up one of these projects and for this tutorial I will use the short Full HD version. The customization of course works exactly the same for all of these versions. So the first thing you see, After Effects tells me that this project must be converted, but do not worry, that's not a mistake or an error. It just means that this project was originally created with an older version of After Effects. And I originally created this with After Effects CS6. Now I am working in After Effects CC 2019. And that's why it has to be converted. But it also means that you can use this template with After Effects CS6 and all later versions of After Effects. Now I will give you a quick overview how this template is structured. If you already saw the preview video, then you probably know that we have this box set up here and we have these different scenes here like uh, rooms and inside the box. And this is where everything is happening. There you have your, your images or video placeholders and your text placeholders. And if we take a look at this animation, you see that we are dollowing into the rooms and then the box is spinning around, revealing the next room. And this is exactly how this template works. And now I will show you how you can customize this. If you take a look here at the project area, you see that we have one folder that says footage placeholders. And if you take a look at the rooms, you see that these footage placeholders have names. So in this example, we are in room number two and we have footage number one and footage number two. And you can access these placeholders directly inside this folder. So here you have exactly the according compositions or according to these placeholders. So if you want to import your footage into this composition, you could just go in here, search it, room two, footage one, double click it, and then you are exactly inside this placeholder and you can import your footage. I will show you this in the next step. But there is another way how you can customize this template and maybe this is the, the better way by accessing the room compositions itself. And you can do this by opening up this folder called rooms. And you see here you have all of the 10 included rooms. The longer version includes 18 rooms, I think. And here you can access one room after each other and do all your customizations. And this is how I will approach this customization now. So let's start with the room number one and let's enter a title and let's enter a footage here. Therefore, I just double click on this composition here, room number one, to open up this room. And you see now I'm inside of my room and I can access all of my titles and my placeholders. If we take a look at the layers here, you see we have these text layers. So to change the title, you can simply select one of these text layers and double click. And then you can enter your title like happy birthday, for example. Maybe you want to create a birthday slideshow. And you can, of course, also change the font, change the size, everything that you can change in the character window. And you can also reposition this by just using the selection tool and then 
repositioning the title inside the 3D space of this room, if this is necessary. Now we'll show you how you can add images or videos to this slideshow. So first of all, let's import some footage and therefore I go to file and choose import file. And in my case, I want to use an image. And as I said, it works with images and video files. So let's import this. And I want to place this now inside this placeholder here. And you see that this placeholder composition is right here on the bottom of this timeline. So I can double click and this will lead me to this placeholder composition. Now, all the placeholder compositions look exactly the same. You will find three layers in there. And the two bottom layers are only the placeholders. So this is this title here and the background. And the first layer here, the white layer, is always the frame of this image. So if we drag in my footage now, make sure that you place it beneath the first layer. If you place it right here, doesn't matter, but if I go now to my room, you see you just lose this nice white frame and therefore I would recommend that you just drag it beneath this layer and then if you go to the room, you see that we have this frame. Now, of course, the size is way too big, so let me quickly scale this down so that it matches our placeholder and now you see that this image is nicely placed. So the customization for the rooms works exactly the same. Uh, let's take a look at another room, maybe room number two. Take a quick look. You see here we have also a text layer where you can enter your titles and we have two footage compositions that you can open up and then you can add in your images or your videos into these placeholders. Now let's go back to room number one and let's take a look at another option that we have to customize this slideshow. You see that on top of each of these room compositions we have a color setup layer. And on these layers, if you open up the effect controls panel, you see that we have a few color controls. And these color controls control the color of the walls. And each of these rooms has a different color and a little bit of a different uh, pattern on it. And you can change the look of these patterns by using these color controls. So the first control that you have is the colorize wall on off. And if I uncheck this, you will see what will happen. Now this changes the color of our background. Each of these patterns has its individual color. And if you deactivate this, then the original color will be displayed. If you activate it, then the original color will be overwritten by these two controls here. So let me show you how these two work. First of all, we have this highlights color and you see that the highlight color now is on um, white. So if I change this now, maybe to something like, I will feature just one of these blues here. Uh, let me take this blue here, but I will make it, but I will make it a little bit more saturated and a bit brighter. Let's say something like that. Now you see the wall is bluish, but my patterns here, these elements, these little sun uh, elements are still green. And if I change this now to white, now you see I changed the look of the room. It also looks very nice. And you can do this in every single room. So let's take a look at that quickly in room number two. Again, there is a color setup layer. And if I deactivate this checkbox, then you will see the original color of the pattern of the background. And if you activate it, then it will be overwritten. And now you can choose another color by changing this preset here, maybe to something like this pink. So you see that you can colorize the rooms individually. And this is a good way to control the look and the feel of this slideshow. Okay, so this is the basic customization to add your images or videos and to edit the titles. Of course, you can access all of these individual elements here and change them. So maybe if you want to change the position of this heart, you can select it and then you can move it around maybe so that it doesn't intersect with the title or maybe if you just want to position it a little bit different. 
you also realize probably that you cannot see all these elements inside the timeline or inside the composition here and this is because they are hidden. So if you deactivate this little switch here then all of these layers will become visible and now you can really see and access all of the layers that build this individual room here. Now let's go back to our render composition and let's take a look which options we do have here. So first of all you see that there is also a color setup and with this color setup you can control the color of the box. So if you want to colorize everything in blue for example we could do that very easily. So let, first of all we again have this colorize wall on off. If I deactivate this you see the original color of this texture that I used for the box. And if you activate this, now you can change the colors by using these two color controls. If you want to use the same blue here, so let's feature that blue. And you see immediately now my box has exactly the same color as my room. And I could, of course, also turn this around. So make this white and just feature the color with the second control. And then we will get these blue dots here. Looks also quite nice. So you can change the color of the box walls or of the outside of the box. The other two options, I'm not sure how often this is necessary, but if you want, you can change the color of the background, of the sky and of the floor here. So let me just demonstrate this quickly. If you change this color, then the sky color will change. I will just cancel that. And the same applies for the ground. So if you change this color here, then the color of the floor here will change. Maybe in some cases this is useful. So when you are finished with your customization, when you added all your images, when you edited all your titles, it's time to add audio. You see that this template contains an audio composition. The audio composition is already open here in the timeline from the beginning. If you do not find it, then it is right here and you can double click and open it up. You only have to use this audio composition if you want to use the same audio that I used for the preview video. If you want to use another audio file, you can just ignore this audio composition and you can drag your audio file directly into the rendercom. Let me show you this quickly. I will import an audio file. And in my case, I will use the baby acoustic uplifting. And this is exactly the same track that I used for the preview. So I will import it. And if you use the same track, then please use this audio composition. And this is because I made an edit here. And there's also in the long version, there's also an edit. And this just creates a nice ending with a nice chord and a nice fade out. Because the original track length is a little bit longer than these slideshows are. So if you use this very specific audio track, then please open up the audio composition and just drag in your file and make sure that it starts at frame number zero. And then you can move to the render composition and you can render out your video. If you use another audio track, so let's say that this is a completely different song, then please just ignore this audio composition. Do not import the audio into this because this edit will probably not really uh, match or will probably not really match your your audio file. In this case, you just drag your audio file directly into the render composition and then it will also be included in the video if you export a video with audio. And as a last step in this customization tutorial, I will show you how you can improve render times. As I mentioned in the beginning, if you decided to use 4K, then the render times can get quite high and if you take a look at this project, it's obvious, you know, there are many 3D elements, they are all uh, casting shadows and there is motion blur and everything. So if you want to save some render time, there are two adjustments that you can do that will improve the performance of this template without losing too much quality. So the first thing you can do is just turn off motion blur. If you turn off motion blur, render time will improve. And you see the difference if you take a look here at these pinwheels here. This is now without motion blur. And if we add the motion blur again, now you have the motion blur here. So it's not a drastic difference. It's just this slight detail. But if a quick export is important for you, then you're better off without any motion blur. The second option that you have to improve your render times quite a bit is to turn off the shadows. And you can turn off the shadows by simply selecting this light here inside the render composition. Press AA on your keyboard to open up the light options. 
and then you can turn off this option here cast shadows if you turn this off you see that we lose all our shadows let's take a look at the animation and let's take a look at some of the rooms you know it still looks very nice and still has this really really nice look but we lose a little bit of depth because the shadows are not visible anymore let me show you the difference here now the shadows are on and now they are off so there is a difference but it's not dramatic and this will also improve render times quite a bit so it really depends what is important for you whether the details and the look is important for you or whether a quick export is important for you okay so this is it with this customization tutorial i hope that you like this template and that you create really nice slideshows with it if you have any more questions then please feel free to contact me either through my website which is www.graphicinmotion.com or you can also contact me directly through my video hive profile i thank you very much for watching and i really hope to see you soon goodbye